Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Yes, happy Sunday. It is probably still Saturday in some parts of the world, but it is Sunday in other parts. This video is for the remainder of November all the way through the end of December. Let's see what we got going on. All right, here we have the Five of Cups up first. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the, uh, the Two of Swords. The Four of Swords, we have the Three of Cups and also the Eight of Cups. All right, let's talk about it. Leos, let's talk about it. And also, you want to write down some questions I have for you. That's coming up, too. Um, so that's going to keep you, keep you staying focused, right? Here we have the Five of Cups. See how this person is looking down at, like, the cups that's... They're focusing on the cups that have fallen over instead of the cups that's right here. You know, this is somebody who's focusing on their past instead of focusing on what lies ahead in the future, right? So this is a pivotal point for somebody to start focusing on your future versus your past. Now we are coming up on the first quarter moon in Pisces. Let me help make it make sense to somebody. Pisces is a divine feminine sign, right? It's a water sign representing your emotions and your creativity. We are not talking about any Pisces in human form that you know. We're talking about the zodiac sign. It's ruled by two planets, Jupiter and Neptune, right? Neptune is a generational planet. Jupiter is no longer retrograde. So these are where areas where you can grow in, right? This is, an, this is an opportunity for growth. Somebody keeps looking back, like something from your past just keeps pulling you back. Now, in some parts of the world where people are celebrating holidays, Leo, it could be triggers all around you. Like it could be whether you're celebrating holidays or not. But other parts of the world where there are no holidays that somebody celebrate, or maybe even if people are celebrating Thanksgiving, let's say you don't celebrate either one, something is pulling you back, whether it's a dream, whether it's just um, triggers all around you or something. And Source is saying, this is why it's so important to find out what nurtures your spirit, your spirit, right? Not your ego. What nurtures your spirit? What nurtures you? And so that you can start focusing on growing your money instead of using that time, because time is money, using the time to just go back down memory lane of things that didn't work out. Messages keep coming to you to take off the blindfolds and look in front of you and put the swords down. Like somebody is kind of still in this like, like denial from something that happened in the past. It's like, just keep replaying it over and over and over again. But I do see that there's hope. I do see somebody walking away from it. It's like, you know, um, there's something like some kind of, either somebody's going to leave you alone or walk away from you, or you're going to walk away from somebody or something. Something is going to you're going to make some kind of move. You're going to take some kind of action to emotionally move. So to move beyond that, this is a person who keeps looking back at their past. And this is a person walking towards their future. Like somebody was stuck in their past and somebody is taking some kind of action to walk towards their future. So maybe like one night you just decided like an epiphany, you know what? I need to move on from this. Like emotionally, I need to move on from something. I need to let it go. I, I need to I need to release it. I need to let it go. So this is where you want to thank source in advance. Remember, this is how you're manifesting. You're not hoping and wishing. You're thanking source in advance for the strength. Your card is the strength card, Leo. I'm thanking source in advance that I'm able to leave my past behind so I can I can enjoy my future and get some rest. Here we have the four of swords. So I do see somebody getting some rest. So that's a good thing. That's a real good thing. Here's some questions you want to ask yourself as we move moving towards this first quarter moon in Pisces. First question you want to ask yourself is, could you, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? Third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? Do you clean and replenish your energy daily? Hmm. That's going to be the main thing because Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac and can get overwhelmed quite easily. And if you have Pisces in your chart... And you find yourself getting overwhelmed quite easily. 
and you start living in your head, believing this and believing that and so on and so forth and getting frustrated, then it can be quite overwhelming. Here we have the Emperor card. Now, you all are inspiring a lot of people around you. But are you burning yourselves out like trying to be the sunlight in everybody's life, including something from your past that you need to let go? Like if something is easy, you know, instead of focusing on this right here, here's the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is, is like either right here in front of you or trying to come your way. This is legacy wealth. This is part of legacy. So I do see somebody's I do see somebody um, focusing their time on either what you have right in front of you or making room for something that's coming your way and not looking back in the past. I do see somebody traveling or thinking about traveling. It's like you have the whole world in front of you. I don't know who keeps looking back at the past or it's like replaying something over and over and over getting your mind. Holidays may have something to do with it, but... Again, I see somebody, um, here we have the nine of wands. This person has learned whatever lessons they needed to learn or else you will, or, or you will be feeling like I'm learning the lessons that I needed to learn. So let me move on from this. So you could be disappointed in something, but I see you sailed away. I see you sailing away from something that you feel like I need to move beyond this. Like it's like, like somebody is in denial about something. Like somebody is in denial about. So you got to look at your entire universe, uh, Leos, and say, what am I in denial about? Is there anything that I feel like I really need to leave behind? It's a tricky situation for me. If it's tricky, I need to move on. Is it is it blocking my? Um, is it blocking me from taking action in some way, shape, form, or fashion? Is it? Remember, um, the emperor card is Aries card, which is one of your sister signs. It's the it's ruled by Mars, the planet of assertion and action, right? That's the planet. When you think about Mars, I want you all to think about competition, survival, courage, and being daring, strength, um, anger, your energy, um, conflict, fighting spirit, vitality, you know, capacity for action, even your sexual drive. So all of that wrapped up into that, right? Um, here we have the seven of cups. This is where someone is, um, this means temptation on every card. So somebody is tempted to move beyond something, but something keeps pulling you back. You got to make sure it's not your ego that's pulling you back. Like I'm on my way out of this job or I'm on my way out of this romantic relationship or I'm on my way out of this friendship. But it seemed like as soon as I'm on my way out, I got this glimmer of hope. So I'm just going to hang in there. But something, it could be burning somebody out. So maybe somebody's waiting for this one last thing to happen before they move on from it. So that's what I'm seeing for somebody so far. That's what I'm seeing for you so far. Let's keep it moving forward, Leos. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Like I said before, if somebody has been praying for legacy wealth, meaning like, you know, for your um, for your family, meaning you and your partner and your kids, if somebody wants kids or whatever, or the kids in your family, some part of legacy. I see somebody breaking some kind of legacy. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I see somebody breaking some kind of cycle or chain or curse because I do see somebody successfully being in the romance. Seven of Cups came out twice. Wow. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Sun card, we have the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Devil card. Wow. So it looks like you all are on somebody's mind a lot. Here we have the Sun card. You know that you're, you're ruled by the Sun. We know that the Sun is not a planet, it's a star. But I'm seeing that your inspiration, your light is helping other people find the light within them, Leos. But if you stay in any situations where you feel like you can't trust somebody, any situations where you feel like you can't trust somebody, instead, it, it makes you look like a snake. You know, you, you hear about a lot of people saying, well, I'm not really that person and, and I'm, you know, they must have caught me on a bad day or whatever because somebody is staying in a situation where they don't trust somebody. They don't trust somebody. Here's a devil card, right? Somebody could be in a very unhealthy situation. Unhealthy doesn't necessarily mean that you're married to them or thinking about getting married to you. I mean, you could think you all could have a family together, but again, it just, again, it just, it sends way too many mixed signals. 
it sends way too many mixed signals. But I do see there's a lot of deep emotion about that person where somebody is really overthinking a situation. Um, the person could be... Like I said before, your light is helping them to find the light within them. And like right now, because of the holidays in some parts of the world, that could be triggering for somebody, like triggering past memories and past emotions about something that could have you almost feeling like you're stuck. But that's not going to last for, that's not going to last for long. I tell somebody, you have either physically already moved on, but now you're emotionally moving on every time you think about it. And also you're protecting your energy. This person right here, Queen of Wands, is someone who is charismatic. They're happy. They're free. You know, they're ready to just, you know, pretty much like ready for anything moving forward, just like in a really, really good mood, feeling sunnier. Um, this sun card right here, somebody may even be feeling more youthful. Um, but I do see like, again, if you don't raise your frequency, see how this person is biting their index finger? The snake has already left a situation, meaning you've already had an awakening. That's what the snake, the Kundalini experience, it means you've already had an awakening. And so if you don't, if you don't, take physical action to move away from this energy right here. You're just sitting there. Now you're doubting everything that's coming your way. Like, where's the card? Let me see. Let me pick up these three cards right here because somebody is ruminating over something and you don't have to. All right. This card right here, this right here. See how the person has two swords up? They have the blindfolds on. It's like this person is in denial. They don't want to hear anything about it. It's like, don't tell me about anything. And let's la, 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 la. Don't tell me anything. I'm just stuck in this space right here. But if you sail away from it, sail away from the thing that has hurt you, um, whether it's by word, thought, or deed, it could, like I said, in somebody's past, you don't have to be stuck on, I can't trust this sign. I don't get along with that sign. Such, you know, people say that I don't, I don't like this particular sign. I don't like that Zodiac sign or whatever. You can ascend higher and operate in faith and thank source in advance for discernment. It doesn't matter whether they're this sign, that sign or whatever sign I, I can discern. I, I can clearly see the the highs and lows within a person right that's what i'm saying for somebody that's why i said just be careful because you know like i said there are a lot of people who are celebrating the holidays and some people aren't it's just too triggering for them it's just i mean it triggers bad feelings and things like that but it doesn't have to be that for you leos because there's a lot of water here like somebody really feels like they have poured out a lot of emotions to something, but you're also pouring out your creativity when you're oh, with this much water here. It's like somebody has all of this creativity, they have all of this love, they have all of this, and it's just like I said, deep emotions towards something. So, I do see, like I said, on the other side of all of this, legacy, legacy wealth, and I do see your money growing. I do see your money growing, but you're at the end of a cycle. And you are trying to move beyond it. So now this is where you don't overwhelm yourself and learn whatever lesson you need to learn. We have the two of coins. This is a good idea for somebody to, because of all of this creativity here, is to ask source. Because since you, since somebody is like emotionally just drained, that's what I'm saying. Like somebody is just emotionally drained and just maybe you have checked out. But it's going to cause you to vibrate low on this energy right here, operating from fear and doubt and operating in some kind of an illusion, you know, operating in some kind of an illusion. You may not see it, but other people will be able to see it all over you. But it also sends out distrust. We also have a personal issue reaches resolution. So cancer, the sign, zodiac sign cancer is ruled by the moon. You all are rolled by the sun, right? So your moon, find out what your moon sign is and do that to nurture yourself. In the meantime, also drink more water, listen to your sacral chakra music, whether it's at daytime, nighttime, however, so you can replenish those emotions so that you can have clear downloads to come through. Because I'm telling you, this, this first quarter moon in Pisces is no joke. 
So you may think that it's because of the holidays and I'm feeling some kind of way, but you got to protect your ear eye gate from social media. You got to protect it from television. You got to protect it from radio or whatever you could be listening to because all of that is still pouring, pouring um, energy into your water. Somebody may have cancer in their chart. That's what I'm saying. Cancer in your chart. And if it doesn't nurture your spirit, it's going to be overwhelming for somebody where source is trying to get you to flush out any negative feelings about anything so that so that you can make room for your legacy wealth additional streams of income and so that you can see your money growing whether it's growing because you got a new position at work or a new job or whatever the energy of money right so what are you spending your time on hopefully it's not going back down memory lane in the past let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see yeah Let's see. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's see what else we have going on here in your oracle cards. A fiery climax approaches. Yes, a fiery climax approaches. Yes, a fiery climax approaches. But like I said, a personal issue reaches resolution, but a fiery climax approaches. And this is feminine energy. This is masculine energy. So something is going to balance you out. Like something is going to balance you out where you're able to, and a fiery climax doesn't mean that something bad is going to happen. It could just mean like you just have like a, um, just like you have an epiphany or an awakening, like an aha moment to something. Like I just keep looking back at the past when I should be focusing on making room for my future and growing my money. And I know that if the person that I'm with right now is not part of, is supposed to be a part of my legacy, then I need to make some decisions so I can make room for that energy that's supposed to be a part of my legacy, right? And also that's even including if you're keeping in contact with exes. Either if you know a relationship you're currently in is over, move on from that. Or if it's something like you haven't completely closed the door with an ex, that needs to be closed so that you can make room for your legacy. Yeah, if you make room for your legacy. All right, your legacy wealth. Sweet treat. Uh-huh. Somebody may um somebody may be in culinary school. Somebody may be um somebody may bake or cook or do something like that. Or thinking about doing something really nice and sweet for someone. Number one, I am innovative is your number. You are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and reach success. That's right. Put yourself first. Put yourself in numero uno. All right, so let's see what else we have here, Leos. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here, Leos. But somebody is extremely creative. Somebody is extremely maternal. Very, very nurturing. Make sure that you do not over-nurture a situation where you are allowing their energy to contaminate your spirit, Leos. And then thinking that, well, they really need me. I can't just completely let them go. You know, this kind of thing. Maybe that don't try not to do that. Here we have creativity. That's what I said. Somebody's extremely creative. I am a ball of creative energy. Creative ideas circulate my, my very being. I tap into all aspects of my imagination. I command my inventive skills to step forward. I connect it to my, tree, my truest self. I am solution-oriented. My gifts create room for me, and I am grateful for my innate gifts. That is what I have for you, Leos. Again, let's get ready for Motivational Monday, but this is your Sunday video. You have your questions. Write those down. Please, please, please try not to overwhelm yourselves. Find out what nurtures your soul so that when we come to the end of this phase within this cycle, the new phase starts on the 30th of November, you won't feel pull back to this right here. Something from your past keeps calling you, keep trying to get you to go back down dark memory lane. Instead, 
turn forward, move forward. Because I, like I said before, I see either somebody going into business with somebody or romantically link with the person where you both, whether it's business and or romantic, are creating legacy wealth. So you want to stay laser focused on your future, your current situation and your future, not continuing going back to the past. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Monday. Bye.